We're here at Emmanuel College where the shooting touch shootout just concluded. I'm joined here by the esteemed Malcolm Smith, former head coach of East Boston High School, now uh, dean of students at New Mission High School, but uh, by all means a, a broadcaster extraordinaire. But we just saw a, a heck of a game, Malcolm, here. Uh, St. Anthony, New Jersey, enough said, one of the top uh, high school teams in the country year in, year out. Uh, squeeze one out here against Central Catholic, 54-50. I think we all thought here, sit here and uh, thought that you know, if, if Central Catholic gets within, within 20, it'd be a moral victory. But, man, they just hung with them 32 minutes. And uh, we'll get more into that in one second, obviously. But um, let's start off here. Uh, 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 another big battle here. Uh, new mission rallying to beat uh, Mansfield 60-54. to 54. Um, We saw some great individual performances from Jawan Gooding, Brendan Hill. But uh, this really showed some gumption for new mission, I thought, after what happened last week losing against Brighton. Well, that's the right word, gumption. They came out today much inspired, more inspired than they have shown in the last two games. I think they took on the personality of their coach today who was <laughs> fired up. I mean, he was totally fired up, but I thought these guys came. It was a clear case today of athleticism won that game today. It just yeah. came down to it. New Mission had too many athletes. They, um, I thought it was a little bit too much minutiae on the offensive end for New Mission in the first yeah. quarter, but after that, they played ball. They just started running. And uh, started defending very well, using their length, using their speed. And then, you know, late in the game, it became the bench mob. Shaquan Murray, 10 points. Uh, Ashaya Coleman, 10 points. And Percio Gomez, 9 points. So that really carried him. But I was highly impressed by the defensive intensity today by New Mission. Yeah, You've played against New Mission for a number of years, obviously, as head coach at East Boston. Um, and, and you know that their, their mantra there is the uglier, the better. You look at that state championship year with Samir McDaniels, Darius Davis, uh, Kachin Nazarum. That was an ugly style of ball. It, wasn't, it was defensive ball. It was, you know, games in the 50s and 60s. But you see a kid like Juwan Gooding um, knocked on a couple of threes. He was a leading scorer here for New Mission. And uh, you have to think the, the, the offensive uh, creativity he could bring to this offense, you think? What do you oh, think? I, oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, he's just a pure scorer. And due to the fact that a couple of their point guards are injured, you know, he has to man the, you know, man the point right now for them. And so, you know, he takes a lot of shots for a point guard, but he's effective. I think he may have missed about maybe six or seven shots, which is good for him because his shoot percentage sometimes can go down low. But, I mean, he was excellent today. I mean, he's got a lot of heart. He's going to take the big shot and everything else. And wait till they move him over to the two-guard position. You're really going to see things to come. Yeah. Uh, not sure if you heard the post game from Corey, but uh, really applauded Mike Vaughn uh, going all saying he's the best coach in the state. And I, another gem here saying that Mansfield could have five midgets and they'll be one of the most competitive teams in the state. I mean, just all out praise. But uh, there is some truth to that element because Brendan Hill, he's a guy that we've had a chance to watch a lot over these last two years, both in basketball and in football. Uh, a, a guy who really got it done for them on, on the glass and, and on the perimeter, 22 points, uh, 13 rebounds. Um, what, if, what do you like about his game? Well, I tell you, I had to be honest. I was sitting next to Danny Ventura right there, and I said, Danny, <laughs> might as well put him in the book for 36 after that <laughs> nine-point quarter that he was having right there. But I tell you, his hang time is tremendous. His ability to blow by off the dribble, the ability to finish with either hand in the paint right there, and it's just smart. He looked a little bit tired today. I'll be honest with you. He looked like it, maybe some tendonitis was in the knees a little bit. Yeah. Knees seemed a little bit cranky. But let me tell you something. He's a player to watch. He's a, he's a bona fide low Division One player right now. So a couple of years from now, we'll really see where he's at. But uh, he, get, he gives it all you got right there. He's He's a kid who's definitely going to give you a double-double. Yeah, and injuries have been a thing for Mansfield. Uh, Michael Hirschman not expected back until after the New Year's with a groin injury. He sustained uh, late in the football season. So uh, we'll see how that develops. But uh, let's get right into this other game here. I mean, I know you have a lot to talk about. You had a great seat up in the crowd oh, for this that was, one. That was beautiful. Capacity that crowd. Beautiful. I mean, they were they were filling in guys behind press row here. It was unbelievable. And uh, Central Catholic comes out and just punches them in the mouth. You know, they go up 12-8 in the first quarter, 14-14 after the end of the one, tw down 25-20. 23 after three, and and, and then uh, after three, Talon Nelson, that, that, that buzzer, buzzer beater to go down three after three. I mean, they just hung with him for 32 minutes. I was very impressed. So. Well, I, I, I tell you right off the bat, you know, and don't let anybody tell you, oh, well, that wasn't one of the best St. Anthony teams. Did you see the body on those athletes right there? Oh, that was one of time. the best teams that I've seen the last seven years, but Central Catholic just came out brought it right to them. Did nothing fancy, just dribble drive, not, not even really kickouts. I mean, just got in the paint right over there. The big guys finished. The guards hit their shots, and they just took it to them. I mean, they blew by the defenders of St. Anthony mm -hmm. and everything else. I mean, they, the biggest thing with, with Central Catholic right now, and I'm going to go on the line and say this right now, it comes down to coaching. 
coaching right now. We all know Rick Nall can coach, okay? Mm -hmm. The bottom line is now, okay, you got to put on that psychology cap, all right? You got to put that cap on right now because it's going to be a psychological thing with them. Can they sustain that intestinal fortitude that they had today? Can they sustain that intensity? Because I'm telling you right now, nobody's beating them. If there's some way he can get creative and keep this team intensified like that for the rest of the 22 games, they're going down to state champions. That is a very good team. They're, they're, they're in shape. They play together. They're loud on the defensive end. They crash the boards, and they get fancy with it. Okay, and they're not. And let me tell you something. They're from that Lawrence area right around yeah. there, Lawrence and Dover. Well, let's say Lawrence. Okay, they're right around that area. <laughs> so you know they're going to get down. They're not backing down from everyone. I thought today they had a good shot to win this game. I thought they were going to win it. Tyler Nelson. You got to take those three shots, okay? You gotta, come on, come on, come on. Be selfish, okay? Because, you know, he, he takes three, 1.5 are going in. So I thought he passed up three shots there. But that, that was a tremendous game, and that's a tremendous team, Central Catholic. Yeah. And, uh, you know, St. Anthony's two uh, big time players there, Hallis Cook, the or Oregon State commit, and Josh Brown, the Temple commit, getting it done for them in the end. But um, I, I want to ask you this. Because you've, you've coached in some big games against uh, out-of-state out opponents where you don't have a lot of information off. But it's the St. Anthony brand, okay? Everyone knows Bob Hurley. He's in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Everyone knows the miracle of St. Anthony, the books, the literature, all the narrative about them year in, year out, uh, of their program, the win streak and everything. Um, when you go into a game like this, uh, is it just better to just go in there just, just feeling like you've got nothing to lose, just feeling no pain, not, not, not trying to worry too much about the other opponent? Well, you know, uh, and those type of things. I mean, I think I think at sometimes when it, yeah, you're absolutely. Right. When it comes to that, you know, you just throw everything. Go in here and let's play and let's see what happens. And I think that's what Central did today. But I think Central had a little game plan today. We weren't going here and see what happens. We're going here for the W. Yeah. You know what I mean? And they and they went up a good. It's a good St. Anthony team. I mean, you got listen. You got t kids from all five boroughs of New York. Yeah. Okay, and Jersey, okay? <laughs> I mean, we're dealing with kids in a little bit of area out here, and you know, out in the uh, Western Mass a little yeah. bit here. So, I mean, that's what really, you know, was impressive by the fact is that, we, you know, we're a Massachusetts school. And for Massachusetts, MIA, okay, you want a good product, those teams like St. Anthony can go year-round with their guys, okay? We have nine days to prepare. Now, can you imagine if these guys at Central had a lot more time to prepare? They'd be walking out of here with a 13-point victory. I guarantee you that. <laughs> uh, you mentioned Tyler Nelson. Two other guys I really thought came to, came to play tonight. Uh, Nick Cambio, one, he, he made all-tournament here. And then Doug Gemmel, a guy who has high energy, a lot of energy. Uh, you know, you talk to the players, they talk about for the last couple minutes before they get out, he's just fired up. He's screaming and yelling. And it really trickles down to the rest of the guys. You see the way they play out here. Um, talk with those two guys and what they bring to the well, team. Well, I mean, Cambio, I mean, you're looking at a scholarship player right there. No, I mean, I was very impressed with him. He's silent, but he gets it done. Gamble, right off the bat, I think he scored the first four points for them. What makes, what makes Central dangerous is that they're very versatile. All five can handle that ball. Okay, and they got bodies on them, and those two bookends right over there man that painted area right there. Okay, and like I said, they're not going to back down from anyone. Okay, they're able to hit eight foot shots, they're able to rebound, and they play. You know, like you said, they show they show gumption. Okay, they show gumption, and I tell you right now, they're in that locker room not with any type of moral victory. I know they're a little peed off about the fact they didn't get the W, which I thought they should have. Okay, Malcolm, we made a few bowl predictions on the podcast last week. I want to toss to you again. Any more bowl predictions here for uh, for the next month? Yeah, I'm going to make a bowl prediction right now, and I'm not jumping yeah. the gun. Okay, I'm highly impressed. Okay, it does take a lot to move. It takes a lot <laughs> to move me. This Central Catholic team is going to win the state championship. Wow, wow! No, I, I, I'm going to tell you, I don't see anybody in Eastern Massachusetts in Division One. Okay, you might be able to give them a tough time, but like I said, if if, if Coach No can find ways, okay, to keep this team intensified like this, okay, no one, I don't care who's out there in the West, what have you, no one's beating this team. Wow, there you have it. There's a bold prediction from Malcolm Smith predicting that Central Catholic win the state title. That's a, that's a big one. That's a big one. We want to uh, thank Justin Kittler from Shooting Touch, always putting on a terrific event here at Emanuel College. Uh, we got more coverage for you tomorrow with the BABC Holiday Classic and the Greater Lawrence Tournament Final. Uh, and we'll see you after the new year with more, more – uh, Terrific high school basketball, terrific month of January. I think we got coming up here. Oh, I can't uh, wait. Couple, couple big battles, and now obviously even the city league every week is a battle. But uh, for now, from Malcolm Smith, I'm Brennan Hall signing off for ESPNBoston.com.